For this next video, we're going to focus on looking at our data descriptively as it relates to kind of visual plots like box and whisker plots. We've already did the histogram video. And we're also going to focus a little bit on how to code data into categories for further um, looking at our data visually by category. One of the most uh, common ways of visually looking at data would be using a box and whisker plot, or just sometimes called a box plot. And sometimes people may look at that data um, by category. But you can start off by looking at it individually. And we're going to open up the uh, county health facts data with the life expectancy data combined in there. Same data set we've been using. And this first one, I'm just going to type in graph box, and then I will select life expectancy and see what it does. And there you have it. It drew this box plot. If you forget that command, you can do graphics box plot, and then you can look at it vertically or horizontally. Vertical is the most common. And then I'll scroll down to life expectancy and hit enter or click on OK and we get the same graph. So and it actually has the command, it made the command again for you. What does this graph represent? So this is a descriptive view of our data. A box plot is highlighted by this line in the middle of it that represents a median value, the midpoint value. If you were to rank the data from lowest to highest, this would be the middle value, the median value. And you can kind of scroll over and see that it's about 77, 76-ish. You also have these whiskers. You have this top line for the box, the bottom line for the box. This space here, this line here, represents the 25th percentile. This upper line here represents the 75th percentile. So three quarters of our data, the central part of our data, well, 20, actually at least, uh, or 50% of our data, the 25th, the 50th, and the 50th, the 75th percentile, all fits right here. So half our data fits there. And then we have more out here in the tails. St uh, Stata refers to this, these upper values as our upper adjacent values, and that's our lower adjacent values. And then these are called outside values, or in many people's terminology, outliers. That's one word. If you forget this, a simple Google search of how to interpret box plots or how to interpret box plots using Stata will lead you to something that shows you something as follows. So you can look at this picture and see 75th percentile, 25th percentile, the median, upper adjacent value, lower adjacent value, and then our outliers. If you want it to do multiple box plots at the same time or a different variable, you can take your old command and I can do current smoking and look at it. If you take things that are extreme in their number differences, it will make the box plots harder to read. For example, life expectancies are mostly in the upper 60s, 70s, and lower 80s whereas smoking rates are usually in the 20 to 40 percent range. So you can see how hard it is to read the life expectancy box plot and the current smoking box plot on the same graph. Now there may be situations where you want to compare the average current smoking rate versus or the median current smoking rate or the dis distribution of current smoking by ever smoking and that will be a little more easily read because they're roughly on the same scale and you can obviously see that 
ever smoking as you'd expect is higher than than current smoking and you can still get a pretty good representation of where the median of each lie in the 25th and 75th percentiles and everything so that's pretty doable there so that is the box plot and that is by individual y values there really is no no x um, that we're really interested in here at this point now we can create our own kind of hypothesis and create a box plot that may be based off of categories and I will propose that we will look at um, percent rural some people may perceive that growing up in a rural area may increase or may decrease somebody's life expectancy depending upon your your take or your kind of knowledge and when we look at the percent rural for the United States some rural percent by county on average the average county in the United States is 58.57 percent rural we have some counties that are no rural and some counties that are 100 percent rural if we were to do more of a detailed analysis to get the medians and the quartiles and that kind of stuff some rural percent comma space detail we see a median percentage of 59.5 percent so if you were to rank the counties from lowest to highest the middle county in the United States would be 59.5% rural. If you were to average the amount of land in each county that's dem that or area or people in each county that live in rural versus urban, it would be 58.57% on average. The lowest quartile is from 33%. The upper quartile is 87% rural we may be interested in creating different categories of rural where maybe a county that is 75 percent or more would be areas that we would demonstrate or say that are very rural and maybe we want to compare that with the rest of the population so we can type in generate and we'll call it maybe uh, heavy rural equals and we'll give it the number one which represents yes if what's our variable name rural percent so I'm going to type in rural percent is greater than or equal to we'll say 87.8 so this represents our highest 25% in the United States. Now we have to code the other counties that are not heavy rural. Because I'm going to hit tab for tabulate. So tab our new variable heavy rural. And we only have 784 counties coded. We have to code the other. 2,351 missing counties. So our earlier command was generate. Now we need to use the command replace. So we're going to replace the variable heavy rural, which we're going to be replacing all those missing data that we don't see there. Replace heavy rural equals the number zero. So it's not generate, it's replace space the variable name heavy rural equals zero if what's our variable rural percent and we'll say if rural percent is less than 87.8 we already used the greater than equal to sign here so then we want everything less than that so it will not include 87.8 it will only include numbers less than 87.8 this one included 87.8 and all numbers above it. So everything 87.8 or less will be coded as zero for this new variable, heavy rural. So I'm going to hit enter. 
it generated 2,351 changes. I can then take hit the tab button, tab, and then look at heavy rural. And now I see I've got 3,135 cat counties categorized as either heavy rural as being zero, meaning not heavy rural, and then one being heavy rural, meaning that they are in the upper 25%. They are 87.8% .8 rural or more. Okay. So give yourself a pat on the back if you were able to use this and actually type all that in and, and get it to work properly on your first try. Sometimes a single extra space or something may throw that off. That greater than equal sign has to be kind of like, you know, when you type it in, it has to be together, the greater than or equal to sign. So, all right, so now we should have a variable called heavy rural. Now, maybe we're interested in the life expectancies. So, for heavy rural versus not heavy rural to see if there's a difference. So, I can do graphics, box plot, and then life expectancy, but I'm going to do it by categories this time. And the grouping variable, I turned on group one, and I create this new variable, heavy rural. So we're going to do it by heavy rural, and I'm going to tell it OK. And let's see what it does. All right, so here's the life expectancies for the ones that are not heavy rural, and here are the ones for the ones that are heavy rural. And the medians and everything look pretty similar. We could do different types of statistical tests, whether it be a Mann-Whitney test or a t-test later on to see if there's a difference in the median or in the ranks or in the average uh, of life expectancy by rural and heavy rural. It appears visually to me that there does not appear to be any particular difference. We can get additional data by typing in some, actually we can, we can sort the data first. If I were to do by heavy rural colon some life expectancy, life expectancy 14 detail it's going to yell at me saying that it's not sorted so if we sort by heavy rural sort heavy rural and then put in our same command I can click on that same old command right there I just clicked on it by heavy ruler rural colon space sum space life expectancy 14 comma detail I can then see the summary statistics for the counties that are not heavily rural and I can see the summary statistics for the counties that are heavily rural and we see that the median for the heavy rural not so the urban counties and less than 75 percentile we see that their median is 77.89 and then for the rural counties in the United States their median is 78 so not much of a difference visually we could do additional uh, statistical tests to see if there actually is a significant difference between these two groups we'll do that in future videos we're going to do one more practice uh, generate a new variable to compare life expectancy by heavy smoking counties and low smoking counties to see visually how that looks and then we'll also do scatter plots and our next and I think final video for this particular week thank you